Greetings. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobson, a board certified psychiatrist. I want to talk about doing it now, not procrastinating. I, okay, so I mean, there are some forms of procrastination that are, are healthy. They're actually a form of prioritizing uh, in order to stay organized and stay efficient. For example, if you've got like a, a, a hundred things to do and 20 of them don't need to be done until, you know, uh, next summer, then you, you, you push them off until next summer. Procrastinate, push them off. Put into your calendar, okay, uh, July 1st, I've got to start doing this. Uh, July 15th, I've got to start doing that. Uh, August 1st, I've got to start doing this. You, you know, so you, you procrastinate in a sense. You push off things that don't need uh, to be done now, that, that there, are, there is no urgency. Okay, and then the things that are urgent, the things that do matter, the things that you have to prioritize, the things you shouldn't procrastinate on, they're at the top of the list. And those things you need to tackle and you need to tackle them now. Because oftentimes when we procrastinate, when we put stuff off, uh, it moves into a state of disrepair, uh, of dysfunction, uh, which could be avoided if we paid attention uh, in the first place and actually took action. What do I mean? Simple example, your car. Uh, you don't do maintenance on your car. You don't, perhaps you say, yeah, I'll check the oil next Tuesday. Yeah, I'll check the oil over the weekend. Yeah, I'll check the oil on Monday. Yeah, I'll check the oil next weekend. You know, and you keep on putting it off and then one day you've got no oil and you've just like blown out your engine block. Uh, why? Because you, you procrastinated. Because you, did, you, you put off for tomorrow something you should have done today. And when you do that and you make a big mess of things, it costs you more time, more money, more aggravation, more grief. Uh, in the moment, you're thinking, oh, I want to do this instead. So I'll just put this task, this chore, this thing I don't want to do, I'll just put that on the back burner and put it over there. But it's a huge mistake when it can have serious consequences by letting it go. It's the same thing with doing bills. You, you know, you say, oh, I'll do the bills on Tuesday. I'll do the bills next week. I'll do the bills, you know, in two weeks. I'll do it tomorrow. You know, and all of a sudden, you know, you've got late fees. You've got interest fees. You've dinged your credit because you've made late payments on, in multiple, uh, to multiple accounts. And you've just dug yourself into a big hole. Talk about creating reality. Uh, well done. Well done. Okay, so yeah, we are masters of our fate. We are architects of our destiny by the choices we make. So don't procrastinate on things that matter, things that could matter in a big way and have consequences. I tell you, uh, uh, this is a horrific example, but this guy's wife said, you know, the car it seems the car seems to uh, you know suddenly shut off. Uh, periodically, uh, there's something wrong with it, and we're going on vacation on Tuesday, so maybe we should get that checked before we go on vacation. And the guy kind of shines it on and says, ah, don't worry, it's not a big deal. I'm sure it's not going to happen. Uh, we'll be fine. And then the car breaks down, right? Uh, while he's waiting on the side of the road for a tow truck, uh, some driver who's not paying attention plows into him and kills him. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, Right. So this is an extreme example of, hey, had he listened to his wife, had he, you know, decided to like look into the problem and fix it before going on vacation, he might still be alive. So that's an extreme example of things that we do to ourselves. We get an insight. We get an intuition. We get a thought, uh, an impulse. I think I should do this, you know, and then our other voice jumps in and says, nah, I'd rather play. Nah, I'd rather party. Nah, I'd rather crap out on the couch. No good. Pay attention. Be responsible. Don't procrastinate. Get things done, particularly when things are uh, in a state of disrepair or starting to malfunction. That's the time to look into it. That's the time to get it fixed. Okay, that's it for now. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.